Today on People of God, we're talking to Maria Lueva Nau Salazar. Maria is a teacher at Cristo Rey Jesuit High School in Chicago, and she recently went to the Holy Land on a pilgrimage with America Media as part of the Ignatian Educators Program. Welcome to Faith and Focus, Maria. Thank you. Thank you so much. And welcome back from the Holy Land. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Can you tell us uh, your overall impressions of just what it was like to be where uh, Jesus walked and, and lived and preached and rose from the dead? Just from the beginning, I, I still remember when you said, close your eyes and listen to the sounds that Jesus listened to. And that just started everything at the right note. I really um, enjoyed the visit to Magdala. That was very powerful to me. What made Magdala so important for you and what makes Mary Magdalene an important figure for you? Um, so I think there's a lot of conversation of women in the church um, and, and that spoke to me throughout the whole pilgrimage and to a lot of us women, I would say. Um, and we um, heard a, a great homily um, a few days before where um, Father Matt Malone said uh, Mary was a church for those 20 minutes. It is uh, that great insight that between the time that uh, the risen Christ appeared to her uh, on Easter Sunday and the time she announced the good news to the mm -hmm. disciples, she was the church, basically. A lot of people really respond to that. Uh, to that insight uh, of Matt's. Picturing Jesus walking up and being there and such an important female figure um, in our history and, and a true calling for, for us, for women, to, to have that role in the church uh, was just powerful. Um, what, would you, what did you bring back to your students at Cristo Rey? Have they talked about it a lot with you? Have they asked you questions? Um, so when I had the time, I shared with every single one of my classes just three, four of the pictures um, that I consider kind of um, enclose the experience. Um, and it was just so amazing to see, like their eyes were like wide open and, and they said, wow, this is Levano, you visited the very places that we've heard all this time in the Bible. Um, so yeah, it was, I think they're still, um, they still ask me questions, they still want to know more. and. I mean, of course, I am still processing a lot of it, but very happy to share all the time and, and just very grateful that I had the opportunity to be there. That's beautiful. Uh, have you had a chance to read the Gospels or hear the Gospels uh, proclaimed at Mass, and has that been different for you uh, since you came back? Yeah, um, listening to the scriptures and they mentioned Galilee, and I said, oh my God, I was just there, <laughs> impressed, like I'm just over the moon. Well, I just want to thank you for sharing your experiences, but also want to thank you for being a great pilgrim uh, with us. The Ignatian Educators Program, through people's generosity, enables uh, people from Jesuit high schools and colleges to join us, and you were such a treasured part of the trip. So thank you for being a great pilgrim, Maria. Thank you so much. If you have a story about how God has touched your life, send it to us at americamag.org slash faithshow. Thank you for watching Faith in Focus. You can find more videos like this on our YouTube channel and subscribe so you never miss an episode. To learn more about how you can have your story featured on the show, visit americamag.org slash faithshow.